Hey guys, Jess here with Key Tarot. I'm gonna do a real quick general reading, not zodiac sign specific. It may be your story today, it might not be, but let us say a quick blessing and we will find out, all right? Holy Spirit, thank you so much for being with us here today and in every breath that we take. We ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them, amen. Um, let me start with this Marielle Tarot and find out what we have going on out there. Happy Monday. Hope you guys all had a happy Father's Day. And thank you to all of our fathers and those who act in a fatherly role in someone's lives. Much appreciated. All right, first card out we have is the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, this could be someone who's experiencing a lot of financial loss right now. This could be someone who's lost a home. This could be someone who um, ha feels like things are falling apart around them or they're not really sure how to find stability in their life. There's this energy of just like um, upheaval and also imbalance. Two of Swords, this is someone who's at a crossroads. They have to decide what they want to do now. Um, this could be your energy. This could be someone around you. And I have the Knight of Cups crossing that, and I have the Justice card, which is the card of Libra. So um, Knight of Cups is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. And this Justice card is the card of Libra, like I was saying. This is somebody who, um, they may be seeking legal action in this situation. I don't know what it is. This Knight of Cups, though, crossing it is someone who wants to do the right thing. They're not entirely sure what the right thing to do is. This could be someone who's got a broken heart. This could be someone who... Feels like they have to remove themselves from a situation or they're trying to decide if they need to remove themselves from a situation this justice card is the energy of again wanting to do things the right way it can be filing legal paperwork it can be it's there's an energy of fairness and balance to it though when it comes out in the upright position this knight of cups um, coming out on its side is somebody who's trying to decide how they feel about the situation am i going to be all in here am i going to extract myself in some way there is this energy of of pain pouring from someone's heart and it probably comes from this loss whatever this is with this ten of pentacles in the reverse we definitely have someone here who's at a crossroads but there is this energy of wanting to do the right thing i have the seven of wands in reverse this could go a couple of different ways let me get a couple more cards out here about that let me see and the moon card, yeah, okay. So the seven of wands is this energy of feeling like you're kind of fighting an uphill battle or maybe you feel like you have a lot of people who are, I don't wanna say out to get you, but being critical. Perhaps the word critical would be appropriate in this situation. The seven of wands is usually when in the upright position, this is somebody who feels like they have the upper hand in a situation. This is someone who feels like no matter how hard the fight is, they're working towards the right goal. Whenever we have it in the reverse though, this is somebody who says, I'm not sure that I have been for fighting for the right things. I'm not sure that I am making the right choices. I'm not sure. And this is probably why we have this two of swords energy that's come out where we have someone who's had to take themselves away from this energy of all these other people's opinions and ideas and kind of um, block out the noise so that they can <laughs> maybe get a clearer picture of how they're feeling and what they want to do next. There's been some kind of upheaval. And like I said, this person, whoever I'm reading for, they want to do things the right way. They want to make the right choices. But it does feel like there are a lot of other people's influence here. And it feels like a fairly critical vibe. This moon card is the card of cancer that's come out with this. And this is an energy of someone who um, may be feeling like secrets are starting to come out or all of these subconscious issues are starting to come to the surface. It's like bubbling up to the top. And all of a sudden we have this eye-opening experience we have a lot of truth pouring out of people all of a sudden it feels like things that were hidden are starting to come to light now I have the ten of cups crossing that this could be about a marriage um, ten of cups on its side right on top of that knight of cups that came out on its side where I said someone was trying to do the right thing and it does feel like there's a lot of pain pouring out of this situation 
um, the Ten of Cups should be a happy family card. It should be a card of marriage. It should be a card that's very celebratory of family life, right? But whenever we have it on its side, this is somebody who's trying to decide what is that going to look like? Is this an honest situation? Is this an honest love? Something like that. Let us look. It does feel like there are a lot of other people's input or influence here. The Seven of Wands can just be an awful lot of involvement from other people's opinions. Let me grab this Tarot of Wonderland and see if I can get a little further information about this. Let's find out what this Ten of Pentacles really is all about, where I said we have some kind of upheaval. It could be financial loss. It could be a loss of a home. And whenever we have it in combination with this Two of Swords and this Knight of Cups on its side with this Justice energy, it does feel like it could be a divorce situation, separation situation, or something like that. Um, it feels like we have one, two... We have two major arcanas here with this justice and this moon energy. So this is something, somebody really wants the truth in a situation. I got the King of Pentacles in the reverse for the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So the King of Pentacles is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Whenever we have the King of Pentacles in the reverse, this is someone who feels like they've lost it all. They feel like they've lost it all financially. They could feel very um, insecure right now. They could feel like not sure-footed. They feel like the, the one wrong move and it's all going to fall apart if it hasn't already. Um, King of Pentacles in the reverse is someone who doesn't feel like they're very reliable right now. They don't feel like they have very much to give. This is someone who kind of feels like they had it all at some point and now it's all being taken away. I have the high priestess that comes out on his side, which is kind of somebody who says, if I'd only known then what I found out now, then I would have made different choices. The high priestess is the card of Pisces and it's someone who is typically highly intuitive. They're very psychically developed or they're someone who spends a lot of time in quietude and they, they kind of um, watch from a distance. They've seen it all coming down the pipeline. But this person, whoever I'm reading for, or this King of Pentacles in the reverse energy, this is someone who kind of never saw it coming, could have been blindsided by a situation, and now they've been thrown into an atmosphere of having to make a choice as to what they want to do next. I have the Magician card. Now we've got a lot of Major Arcana on here. Uh, Major Arcana for me as a reader is, um, it's, it's, it's a big energy. It's something that causes a complete shift in your life. Um, it's, it's, and, and when we have the Minor Arcana, those are more about your day-to-days, like little dramas, little little excitements, little things like that. But when we have major arcana, and we have quite a few on here already, um, this is a feeling of a big situation in your life that's kind of come to a head. Now, something that's highly positive about this situation is we have this magician card that comes out. So despite all of this upheaval, despite being at this crossroads, we have someone who says, you know what, I'm just gonna do what I need to do. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get myself back together, to get this situation back on track. That's the energy of the magician. The, um, the Magician is the card of Ophiuchus for me, and for some readers, it's also the card of Aries. Hmm. Six of Swords in the reverse. Here's the thing. There's somebody who feels like they can't move on. They feel like they cannot physically move. So I, there's all this upheaval. There could be financial loss. There could be like pending loss of a home. We could be going into like a foreclosure situation or something. But this is someone who feels like they don't have options for moving on. Six of Swords in the reverse is someone who feels kind of stuck like Chuck, right? Stuck off in the weeds somehow. And it really goes right on top of that Ten of uh, Pentacles, which should it was kind of like the energy of a home a kingdom perhaps with that king of pentacles in the reverse and now i've got the hierophant card that flipped out on top of that i didn't even see that and it came out in the reverse which is the card of taurus but it's an indication of a dissolution of a marriage or major commitment or partnership in your life um the hierophant is all about commitment they are all about marriage stoicism traditional values doing things by the book um, and now when we have it in the reverse we have a complete upheaval here which we kind of knew which we've been talking about so we could be looking at the dissolution of a marriage here it goes right on on top of that justice card which can indicate filing legal paperwork this could be somebody who says i'll do whatever it takes to hold on to what i have now i have the ace of cups that comes out crossing this ten of cups it's possible that we have someone who's opening their heart again to a new relationship perhaps 
Ace of Cups can be a couple of different things. Specific to this Tarot of Wonderland deck, though, it does feel like a new love relationship that's coming towards someone. It feels like whoever I'm reading for is not entirely certain of it, though, possibly because of all this upheaval that they've been through in the past. And I haven't even started talking about all this other community involvement that we have going on here. But this Ace of Cups comes out right on top of this Ten of Cups, which I said should be a happy relationship, should be a happy family. It can be a blended family coming together. It's, it's all about the epitome of love and what comes from a love relationship that's very positive. This Ace of Cups is someone who's remembering who they are. They're remembering how to give up themselves. They're remembering how to fall in love again. And I don't know, it's highly possible that whoever I'm reading for here is possibly in the middle of a lot of upheaval, possibly in the middle of a divorce, possibly in the middle of having to relocate at a time when they really didn't want to. This is somebody who feels like the wool's been pulled over their eyes one too many times, but there's this real drive to get themselves out of this situation and they're really racking their brain as to figure out which direction they want to go next it feels like they're letting go of this major commitment and their heart is still broken from it in some way now typically when someone has a broken heart it's real hard to offer that to another person but this person whoever I'm reading for it feels like they've gone through a lot of healing already and it seems like it kind of doesn't matter that they're still in the midst of this situation because there there is a new love relationship that's coming towards them now however we have the knight of cups on its side the ten of cups on its side and the ace of cups on its side and when I have cards that come out on their side that tells me that whoever I'm reading for or about here is kind of in charge of turning them up into the upright position or into the reverse and it feels like there's someone that's coming towards this person maybe they don't see it coming I don't know hmm I have the seven of Pentacles that comes out in the reverse on its side. This is somebody, I, I I don't think that whoever I'm reading for, you don't see this coming. I don't think I could tell you this and have you believe me. When I get the seven of pentacles that comes out in the reverse on its side, this is the energy of somebody saying, this is gonna be a surprise. You're gonna be surprised to see this. And I think that's true. Let me find out a little bit about this. Let me, pu I'm gonna push these over here to the side, this beautiful love, new, this new love relationship that's coming towards this person because I don't feel like they're ready to even talk about that yet, even though it is kind of looming. What is this seven of wands and this moon energy? We got the four of swords. The seven of wands, where I said we have a lot of people who are kind of inserting their own opinions into this situation. This Four of Swords is about a separation. We could have a lot of people questioning this individual. Why are you doing that? What's happening? Why are you not with so-and-so anymore? Why are you on there on your own? And then it comes out with this Hermit card, which is intense isolation, as is this Four of Swords. Whoever I'm reading for, this person, you, if this is your reading, is someone who is grateful to be out of this situation. Grateful. You're sorry for the upheaval. You're sorry for all the changes. But there's this energy of gratitude for being able to spend time alone to be I don't know if what you were in was highly destructive it looks like it was in some way it looks like there was a lot of loss whether it was a loss of a home or loss of job or something like that and now we have someone who's happy to be on their own for a while then in this hermit energy people always complain about hermit energy oh no I don't want to be alone but no actually when you're in this hermit energy it's not you being alone it's you being quiet enough to hear a higher power you're never alone right but it's it's, it's being quiet enough to listen to a higher power and in, in that space we have a lot of gratitude we have a lot of healing and a lot of thanks that are being given for this opportunity to start over in some way and this is what does it. Okay, so this is what bridges the gap between this isolation energy and this new love that's coming towards someone it's the tower you don't see this coming. It does come out of nowhere. You wouldn't believe me if I told you, right? Whoever I'm reading for, if this is your story and you're going through perhaps a divorce or a dissolution of partnership in some way where you've lost an awful lot and you've had a lot of other people's opinions and you've had a broken heart and you've gone through all these things, there's all these secrets coming up to the surface about whatever this was. You're taking your time out, you're going through a time of quietness and isolation, and you're spending a lot of time in prayer and meditation, whatever that looks like for you. If that's your story, 
you better believe that you've got something that's gonna knock your socks off coming right towards you. I couldn't make it up if I tried. It feels like you're gonna bump into somebody that just renews your opinion, your belief, and your ability to um, accept love into your life. All right, that was your reading for today. Thanks for letting me read for you. I will catch up with you guys soon. Have a great Monday.